Sky Genie Entertainment presents the following. The following is not suitable for children under the age of 18. It contains coarse language, sexual references, as well as my own personal views and opinions. I'd like to thank you for listening to my show. You are listening to the Sky Genie Show. The worst show ever. Hit the music. Welcome to the Sky Jenny Show, the worst show ever. We're on episode 46 of the Sky Jenny Show, and we are four shows away till episode 50. I plan to be doing something with Yuck Nasty and Johnny Florida. I'm currently in the talks of planning that show. More details as we go along. I want to give a quick shout out to Jason Solomon of the Solomons to Sounds Off, who celebrated his 500th episode. So cheers to the Solomons, sir. Happy 500. We have a big show for you this week. I had the New Japan Dominion show that was on last week. We have Raw, Smackdown and Money in the Bank. Funny because I did record episode 46 well in advance of the day. It was only yesterday as of recording that I realised that Money in the Bank was actually happening. So I'm slowly getting back into it. On the show's website, skyjennyshow.weebly.com, I have launched Indie of the Week. Indie of the Week for the Sky Genie Show for obscure independent shows. They're out there and deserve a lot of love. Not everything is WWE, New Japan, TNA or Ring of Honor. But smaller feds deserve love too. So you'll find that on skygenieshow.weebly.com as well as much more. Check it out. We have wrestling news and reviews coming up after the break. If you're looking for links to shows and social media accounts, go to our website at skygenieshow.weebly.com. There you will find links to the show and links to social media pages. Also exclusive to the site, some news and reviews that did not make it to the show. So please check out skyjennyshow.weebly.com today. Are you looking for a good laugh? Then check out Get in the Corner. Get in the Corner. Da Corner. Da Corner. With hosts Yuck Nasty and Dogger Baby. Every Wednesday night at 9pm on Mixler. Check them out on Wednesdays at 9pm on Mixler. For discussions on wrestling and wrestling soup after parties, check out Wrestling's National Committee with Johnny Florida, Papa Dave and Old Man Jenkins, right on Mixler. If you're looking for a very professional show to listen to, listen to The Solar Monster Sounds Off. His show, Smokes This One Entirely, is a very informative show. Join Jason Solomon as he gives his thoughts on the current events of professional wrestling. Catch his show on Podbean, Stitcher or iTunes. Also check out Jason and Solomon's YouTube page where he does extras for pay-per-view shows or interviews with wrestlers in the business. Jason has interviewed the likes of Diamond Dallas Page, Bob Hardcore Holly, the legendary Jim Ross and even Booker T. Definitely a show worth checking out. Want to join a fan discussion group? Talk about the show or anything else you'd like to talk about to other fans of the show? Check out on Facebook the Sky Jenny Show page. There I give show updates, create polls and topics exclusive to Facebook. So check out the Sky Jenny Show page on Facebook today. (laughs) 
And we are back and now it's time for the wrestling news. Rumours are going around that Goldberg is set to be returning to WWE. The rumour going around is that Goldberg is set to return to face Roman Reigns. None of this has been confirmed at this time. Several names for the Mae Young Classic have been revealed. Tony Storm, Lacey Evans, Sarah Logan and Princessa Sergi have been confirmed for the tournament. Rumour has it Shania Basler of USC fame is said to be competing as well. She is part of the MMA for Horsewomen. And that is it for wrestling news. After the break, wrestling reviews. <laughs> If you'd like to send me a tweet, then on Twitter it's SDD916. Again, on Twitter it's SDD916. For fans of the Sky Jenny Show, please also make sure to check out Wrestling Soup. They drop at 9.30 on Thursday. Join hosts Anthony Missionary Thomas and Joey Numbers as they lightheartedly talk about the while that's happening in professional wrestling, as well as other current events. While over there, please make sure to check out the Saturday Morning Shipbox. Have your voice and question heard, as Mish and Joey answer questions on their thoughts of professional wrestling or anything else going around in the world. That show drops on Saturday morning-ish. The weeks it doesn't air is because they're doing pay-per-view Sunday. Yes, whenever there's a WWE pay-per-view, Mish and Joey usually review it, sometimes with John Draper. They also have shows on Stitcher and iTunes. If you want to catch the boys live, check them out on Mixler. For my masters, who are wondering if there will be Sky Genie shows throughout the Christmas New Year period. So sorry. Not for the normal show, but... Check out the holiday edition of the Sky Genie Show. There you will find I review old wrestling shows from the past. I review them to today's standards. And to make it interesting, I won't even know what I'm reviewing until I do it. Of course I'll know before you, because I have to record the fucking thing, don't I? But it's filled with gags and more as well. So check out the holiday edition of the Sky Genie Show. Right here on my channel here on YouTube. For fans of the show, please also check out the Don, Tony, Kevin Castle show. Don, Tony and Kevin Castle show is a hard-hitting, with brutal honesty type show as they give their views on the world of professional wrestling and WWE. They're also on Stitcher and iTunes. If you want to catch them live, listen to them on Mixler. The Sky Jenny show is now on Patreon. Go to www patreon.com slash show. There you'll find exclusive content not shown on YouTube hosted by the Sky Genie and Tough Love. Your donations through Patreon to the show goes to improve the overall quality of the show. Check us out at patreon.com slash show today. And now for the Raw Review. The show opens up with Brock Lesnar and Paul Heyman to cut a promo on Samoa Joe. Samoa Joe comes to the ring and they brawl. Angle brings down security but Lesnar takes them out. The locker room comes out and spreads them apart. Joe gets a kick in and chaos happens. And the segment ends. The Drifter sings a promo and then we get a match between the Drifter and Dean Ambrose. After an okay match, you win a via dis- Distraction by The Miz, The Drifter. There is a Gold Dust vignette. Backstage segment with Kurt Angle and The Miz. And another backstage segment with Noam Dar and Cedric Alexander with Alicia Fox on the phone. We then get Cedric Alexander and Noam Dar in a squash match. Cedric Alexander wins. Bray Wyatt is on the Titan Tron cutting a promo. Then he makes his way to the ring to continue it. And... Focuses the promo on Seth Rollins. Seth Rollins comes out to confront Bray Wyatt. And they go on and on. Let's go out. Bray Wyatt is staring on the Titan Tron. 
There is a backstage interview with the Hardy Boys. We then get Kalisto versus Apollo Crews in a m- nothing match. Apollo Crews wins. After the match, Otis O'Neill pulls out Akira Tozawa in the crowd and nobody cared. We get a backstage segment with The Miz, Slater and Rhino. Max of Bliss comes out to cut a promo on Nia Jax. She goes on and on. Nia Jax comes out and cuts a promo and goes on and on. Ricky James and Dana Brooke comes out. Same deal. And then we get the return of Emma. Sasha Banks comes out and we get a brawl. Then we get a six woman match. Alexa Bliss, Nia Jax and Emma versus Mickey James, Dana Brooke and Sasha Banks. After a nothing match, the face team wins. Corey Graves interviews Bailey. Bailey cries and hugs Corey Graves. We get Slater and Rhino versus Miz and a bear. Or guy in a bear costume. It was fucking terrible. Slater and Rhino win. We're supposed to have a match between Neville and Rich Swan. Neville takes out Swan before the match. Cuts a promo on Akira Tozawa. Kaz is found laid out. The revival is seen in the background. Club versus Kaz and Enzo. In a nothing match, the club wins. After the match, the club goes to attack Kaz and Enzo. Joe makes the save. Big Kaz is pissed. We get a backstage vignette with our truth on gold dust backstage segment with Kaz, Enzo, and Big Joe. Backstage promo with Samoa Joe. And then we come to the main event for the Raw Tag Team Championships Cesaro and Sheamus vs. the Hardys. It was an awesome main event that ended in no contest. It was a two out of three false match. Overall, the Brock Joe angle and the main event was awesome. The rest of the show sucked. And that's my review for Raw. <laughs> And now for the Smackdown review. Show opens up with New Day with Soul Rebels out to cut a promo. WrestleMania being in New Orleans next year. And the Usos. The Usos, Brizango and the Colons. Yeah, that's right. I said Colons. Come out and cut a promo on each other and leads to the break. Break. After the break, we have New Day and Brizango versus the Usos and the Colons. Get it? The Colons. It was okay, but nothing special. Your winner was the Babyface team. Backstage segment with AJ Styles, Shinsuke Nakamura, and Sami Zayn. The backstage segment with Shane McMahon, Mojo Rawley, and the returning Zack Ryder. We then get Naomi vs. Tamina. In an OK match, your winner was Naomi. After the match, Lana attacks Naomi. The Mahal comes out and calls out Randy Orton. Randy Orton destroys everyone with an RKO. I have to say this about Jinder Mahal. Don't take him seriously as WWE Champion. If WWE had built him for at least a year, maybe then I could take him seriously, but since he's only won five matches this year, I cannot. Moving on, we have a backstage segment with Baron Corbin, Dolph Ziggler, and Kevin Owens. We get a backstage interview with Randy Orton. Then have Charlotte vs. Natalia in a good match. Your winner was Charlotte. Here is a Fashion Files segment, as well as a backstage interview with Lana. And in the main event, Kevin Owens, Dolph Ziggler, and Baron Corbin vs. Styles, Zayn, and Nakamura. Your winner after a great main event, the face team. Overall, it was a hit and miss show. Certainly not a good go home show though. For the next pay per view, that is my review of SmackDown. <laughs> And now for the Money in the Bank pay-per-view review. We had the first ladder match with Charlotte, Becky Lynch, Tamina, Carmella, Natalia. For the women's Money in the Bank ladder match. The winner was Carmella. Now it was a great match, but a wrong way to finish the match I reckon. I think they should have put James Ellsworth to do a controversial one. And by the looks of it online, everyone else thinks the same. We then got a backstage interview with Lana. And then we had the SmackDown Tag Team Championship, the Usos vs. The New Day. New Day won via Countout. Again, another amazing match, but bad finish. Then we had the SmackDown Women's Championship. Naomi faced Lana. It was okay, but nothing special. Naomi wins. After the match, Carmella shows off her briefcase. There is a Fashion Files segment. And then the debut of Marina, Maria and Mike Kanellis. You can tell Mike Bennett is apparently the bitch in this because he took her last name. They show a heap of legends at ringside. We then had the WWE Championship match. Jinder Mahal versus Randy Orton. It was nothing special and your winner and still champion. 
Jobber Mahal. I can see why they didn't make this the main event. WWE doing this since they have no faith in Jinder Mahal and will probably be losing the title at SummerSlam to John Cena. Come on, it's a given. We then had Breezango vs. The Ascension. This was not really needed. Your winners were Breezango. We can tell with Connor that he is using WWE's expenses wisely, taking advantage of catering. Then we come to the main event. It was AJ Styles vs. Dolph Ziggler vs. Sami Zayn vs. Kevin Owens vs. Shinsuke Nakamura vs. Baron Corbin. After a great main event, your winner is Baron Corbin. I mean, who didn't see that one coming? Overall, it was a very average show. That is the Money in the Bank review. And now for the review of New Japan Dominion Show. I know it's a week old, but who cares? I didn't get the pre-show match as it was the Young Lions match, and I thought that might be a little unfair, so I won't include it. It was a good match, I will say that. We have Tiger Mask W and 4, Togi Makabe and Yuji Nagata versus Tenkozi, Nakanishi and Jushin Thunder Liger. In a great fun match, your winners was Tiger Mask W and 4, Makabe and Nagata. We had a five-team gauntlet for the Never Open Six-Man Championships. Between LIJ, Chaos, Bullet Club, Suzuki Gun, and Toguchi Japan. After a fun match, your winners and still champions, LIJ. Then for the IWGP Junior Tag Team Championship, we had Rapongi Vice vs. The Young Bucks. After an awesome match, your winners and new champions, The Young Bucks. Then for the IWGP Tag Team Championship, we had War Machine vs. The Gorillas of Destiny. After a great match, your winners and new champions, the Gorillas of Destiny. We then had Cody Rhodes vs. Michael Elgin. Your winner after a good match, Cody Rhodes. Then for the IWGP Junior Heavyweight Championship, we had Hamuru Takahashi vs. Kushida. Your winner and new champion after an awesome match, Kushida. And I really gotta say, Kushida is really an underrated piece of talent. I myself say Jushin Thunder Liger is probably the greatest junior heavyweight of all time. And Kushida will probably be up, up there when his career is said and done. I stand by that. We then have a Lumberjack death match for the Never Open Weight Championship between Minoru Suzuki and Hiroki Goto. After a pretty boring match, your winner and still champion Minoru Suzuki. We then have an IWGP Intercontinental Championship match between Tatsuya Naito versus Hiroshi Tanahashi. Tanahashi, who needs bicep surgery, pulled out a really awesome match with Naito. Both these talents are these talents are really good. Your winner and new champion Hiroshi Tanahashi. And then we come to the main event, an easily match of the night for the IWGP Heavyweight Championship. We had Okada versus Kenny Omega. Went to a 60 minute time limit draw. It was an awesome match, but in my opinion, the first match I think was a lot better than this one. Overall, there was a few miss misses, but it was a really good show. It was definitely a lot better than everything that I just read from WWE, which is why I put this review last to end on a happy note. So that is my review for New Japan Pro Wrestling Dominion. I'd like to thank you all for listening to this episode of the Sky Genie Show. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Follow me on my website, skygenieshow.weebly.com. On Facebook, it's the Sky Genie Show page. On Twitter, it's at SDD916. Check us out on Mixcloud and on Patreon, Patreon slash Sky Genie Show. Thank you all for listening, and I'll catch you later.